What's up guys? So you probably don't know this yet. You're inside the new coaches lounge here at Hanson Athletics. I wanted to go over uh, this movement and video real quick with you guys because I think it's an interesting uh, movement and a way to set it up to work on the anterior tibialis. So the muscle in the front of your shin that helps with dorsiflexion and load absorption, okay? So right here, how I've set this up is I'm simply sitting on a bench, okay? I'm sitting on a bench, loaded up, trying to get a straight knee, and then I've got a, this is a hamstring strap or a seat belt or anything that you can fit around your foot, okay? I've got that strapped onto the bottom of my foot. And what that's gonna allow me to do is hang my foot off the end of a bench and set up so I can actually train and load this dorsiflexion movement, okay? So let's watch a couple reps here. So I'm driving that knee to the back of the bench, pulling through the shin, okay? You can also place your hand on top to kind of support that, that straight knee position. So what this is working, again, is the anterior tibialis. That's a muscle that runs across the front of your shin. This muscle is responsible for uh, absorbing load, especially from landing, uh, running, uh, any active movement like that, as well as a dorsiflexion, so ability for your ankle to move through a range of motion that's gonna be imperative when we're squatting, uh, doing any lower body movement, okay? Now, when this becomes dysfunctional, there's a couple things uh, that typically pop up, okay? Uh, a lot, and just so you guys know, a lot of people are dysfunctional here. I mean, a lot of our youth athletes are missing a lot of strength through dorsiflexion. Uh, it's gonna result in knee pain, uh, particularly patellar tendonitis. You're also gonna run into maybe some issues with the ankle and shin splints, okay? So adding this routine in, this accessory movement into your training is going to allow you to avoid some of those, but also perform a little bit better uh, through being able to take, take force, put it through the floor, and effectively transition into a powerful extension, okay? And this movement is not loaded or trained a lot, then over time, if you strengthen that muscle in the front of your shin, you might also find that your ankle range of motion gets a little bit better as you work that muscle, okay? So let's just watch a couple more reps. Coming through here, big squeeze at the top. Again, you can place your hand here to help with support, but we're just pulling up all the way to the shin and trying to get a nice burn through the front of that. And uh, that's gonna help you not only in sport perform, but avoid injury. So add this in, you could use anything to wrap something around your foot, any way to weight it. Um, that's a really unique way to train that muscle. We also have done it, do it with bands, uh, leaning our back against the wall and pulling our toes towards the shin. Uh, this is just a really awesome way to do that. You could add in three to five sets at the end of every workout and just go tell failure on both feet. You could also strap both feet into that. So right now I have one foot in here, right? You could potentially have both your feet in there and go a little bit heavier. There's also machines specifically for this, but this is a way you can rig it up at home with minimal equipment. You could use a belt, you could use anything that you can strap around your foot, okay? So hopefully that is a good piece of information for you. You can use this, uh, feel free to share it with whoever. If you know someone with shin splints, tag them in this video. This can be something that really helps you regain not only your, your performance, but also uh, get out of pain. So appreciate you guys. Gonna make more videos out of here and have a great day.